I don't have nothing really new to preach to you today. But I tell you what, what we got don't have to be new. I mean, I enjoyed that song today probably better than the first time Tommy ever sung it. You know, it just keeps getting gooder and gooder, as that old man said. You know, so I'm glad to be a Christian. Linda and I found something on TV finally worth watching. And we watched it all day yesterday, and we get to watch it some more. We'll probably watch all the episodes. But it boiled down to they had three panels. There was three people on a panel. There was three of them. Uh, well, there was three panels, three people on a panel. And they, they was there for a cause, to either to su support uh, the needy families or food or something. And they had a guy, and all he did was ask them Bible questions. From the very start, Bible questions. And uh, it was fun. It, it challenged our brain as we sat there. And I didn't get all the answers. Uh, you could tell they didn't uh, use what we call King James Version in all of them. But uh, still, uh, it was, there was enough that I could recognize it. And I didn't get all the answers. Uh, so, but I really enjoyed it, and I can't wait till this afternoon to watch it again. You know, he's talking, start talking about the Lord. Anyway, if you have your Bibles this morning, like to turn with me to the uh, fourth chapter of the book of Hebrews, reading about three verses of that, starting with verse 14. <clears throat> Seeing then that we have a great high priest that is passed into the heavens, Jesus, the Son of God, let us hold fast our profession. For we have not a high priest which cannot be touched with the feeling of our infirmities, but was in all points tempted like we are yet without sin. Let us therefore come boldly to the throne of God, or the throne of grace, that we may obtain mercy and find grace and help in the time of need. Our Heavenly Father, we thank you, Lord, for the service up to this time. We thank you for the Holy Spirit, which we've already felt. Pray, God, that you anoint this message and guide our minds. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Out of that 14th verse, the bottom part of it said, Let us hold fast our profession. I'd like to use for a thought this morning on are ye steadfast? Are ye steadfast? I looked up the word steadfast in the dictionary to see what it said. Webster said steadfast meant firm in our belief or firm in belief or firmly fixed in in place firmly fixed in place and so this morning uh, I want you to know that the Apostle Paul in more than one place reminded us and told us to be steadfast Galatians 5 and 1 he said stand fast in the liberty wherein Christ has made us free and be not entangled again, you know, in this formal world. And 1 Corinthians 15, 58, he said, uh, Be ye steadfast, unmovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord, for you know that your labor is not in vain in the Lord. And so uh, there's all kinds of scriptures in the Word of God to tell us and remind us to be steadfast. Now, I enjoy uh, watching people who are steadfast in the Lord. Uh, when you see someone uh, 20, 30 years ago serve the Lord and you see them today and they're still serving the same Lord, it was because they were steadfast along the way. And in the scriptures it gives uh, many examples of people who were steadfast. Uh, and some of my favorites, or uh, a couple, three of my favorites, I'd like to uh, uh, tell, retail, you might say, 
uh, to you this morning to remind us uh, just how that we got here today. If someone had not been steadfast, even if Jesus, uh, he was steadfast uh, heading for the cross, if he hadn't have completed that, we wouldn't have had this opportunity to be able to stand and declare the word of God. Uh, but the Bible said back in the book of Job, it said the sons of God came to present themselves with them. And it said, and the devil came also. And uh, the Lord asked him, uh, God said, devil, uh, putting this in my own words, devil, where have you been? And he says, walking to and fro in the earth and up and down in it. And he said, uh, have you considered uh, my servant Job, who is a perfect and upright man? And I almost see the devil doing this. <laughs> yeah, uh, he's great, all right. That's because you've got him protected. Uh, uh, you take all that away from him, and he'll curse you to your face. Uh, and God said, all right, uh, uh, you just don't... Uh, 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 just don't touch him. Uh, and so then we find where uh, uh, Job, my friend, was there. And all of a sudden, uh, uh, one of his servants come in uh, uh, and said, Job, uh, he said, the, uh, the Sabians has came. Uh, uh, we had the oxen out there plowing, uh, and the asses was with them. Uh, and the Sabians came, and they took them off, uh, and they killed every one of your servants uh, uh, with an axe, uh, or my friend, or a sword, but uh, they slew them. Uh, I was the only one who got away. Uh, and the Bible said before uh, he even got finished, here come another one, uh, and said, Job, uh, uh, fire fell. Uh, and burn up all your sheep uh, and burn up all your servants uh, and I'm the only one left uh, and pretty soon here come another one uh, and said Job uh, uh, something's happened uh, uh, to your uh, or to your camels uh, and they've slain them uh, uh, do you know what uh, by that time I think uh, I'd start to get a little discouraged uh, and wondered what was going on uh, uh, but Job Job just stood there, uh, and finally, uh, here come someone and said, Job, uh, your kids are killed. Uh, a windstorm came uh, and blew the house down, uh, and they died. Uh, uh, Job just shaved his head uh, and got down and began to pray uh, and said, The Lord giveth, uh, and the Lord taketh away. Uh, blessed be the name of the Lord. Uh, you talk about someone uh, uh, that was steadfast uh, uh, Job was uh, and then the Bible said uh, uh, the sons of God came uh, and presented themselves to God uh, and the devil came also uh, and the Lord said devil uh, where have you been uh, he said walking uh, uh, up and down to the earth uh, and through it uh, and he said, have you considered uh, my servant Job? Uh, he said, you've got him hedged in. Uh, but if you take uh, uh, touch his flesh, uh, he would curse you to your face. Uh, he said, just don't take his life. Uh, and the Bible said uh, uh, that the devil uh, had Job uh, had boils uh, up from the sole of his feet uh, to the top of his head. Uh, he scraped them off. Uh, his own wife said, Job, uh, why don't you just curse God and die? Uh, he said, you talk like a foolish woman. Uh, uh, Job was a steadfast man. Uh, I'm glad to know today uh, uh, that if we're steadfast, uh, uh, we can endure. Uh, and those that endure to the end, uh, uh, will Brother Taylor uh, hear him say, uh, well done, thy good uh, and faithful servant. Uh, and so then, uh, uh, here's another that you've heard. Uh, but I get a blessing every time. Uh, the Bible said there was a man, uh, a king.
king uh, by the name of Nebuchadnezzar. Uh, and my, I want you to know something. Uh, he had erected this uh, image that he had built. Uh, and someone said uh, of the to him said uh, uh, well anyway a decree was made uh, uh, that when you heard music uh, uh, all these instruments uh, you would bow down before him uh, and pray uh, but did you know what uh, there was three old boys uh, uh, that was steadfast uh, they would not bow down uh, and you all know the story uh, without me going through the whole thing uh, but I got to get to this point uh, uh, my friend uh, uh, whenever uh, uh, Nebuchadnezzar looked in the fiery furnace uh, uh, my friend uh, he didn't just see the three uh, he saw Shadrach Meshach uh, Abednego uh, he said and one that looked like uh, the son of God uh, oh my friend uh, because they were steadfast uh, and he brought them out uh, yeah it burned up the ones uh, that he throwed him in uh, but he got them out uh, he made a new decree uh, he said there's no other God uh, he said like Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego uh, he's the real God uh, uh, Daniel come along uh, steadfast as them boys uh, uh, my friend uh, when they wasn't supposed to pray uh, uh, my friend would it come the time to pray uh, Daniel's window being opened uh, towards Jerusalem. Uh, he prayed anyway uh, uh, three times a day. Uh, uh, they told King Darius about it. Uh, oh, my friend, uh, he was sort of uh, uh, disappointed that he'd even uh, uh, signed that decree. Uh, uh, but it happened. Uh, and they throw Daniel uh, into a den of lions uh, because he was steadfast here. Uh, God was steadfast over here uh, he slept like a baby that night uh, uh, but boy the old king didn't uh, uh, the king uh, the bible said no music uh, uh, came from his house that night uh, uh, he was worried uh, early the next morning uh, he goes up to the den of lions uh, and he said Daniel uh, uh, you that served God continually uh, was he able to deliver you uh, Oh, to his surprise, uh, uh, boys come back out and said, Oh, king, uh, uh, live forever. Uh, uh, yes, my friend, uh, one after another uh, uh, was steadfast. Uh, and then Jesus came, uh, uh, picked his disciples, uh, and they were steadfast, uh, especially uh, after Pentecost. Uh, up to that time, uh, uh, Peter was a little wary at times. Uh, uh, even uh, uh, denied him uh, uh, but after the day of Pentecost uh, uh, Peter and John uh, uh, my friend went up to pray to the temple uh, you know the story where the man laid dark lame uh, and he said silver and gold have I none well anyway uh, as time goes on uh, uh, they said what are we going to do uh, uh, we know this man uh, has been laying there for all these years we know a mighty miracle happened uh, let's just warn them uh, and tell them not to do it uh, but you know what uh, uh, Peter and John said uh, well, what can we say uh, except the things which we've heard from the Lord uh, they've put them in jail uh, they told them not to preach in his name no more uh, but they kept on preaching uh, uh, say my friend uh, are we steadfast uh, are we steadfast in our prayers uh, are we steadfast steadfast in our reading uh, are we steadfast in our living uh, uh, that's more that's as important as anything uh, uh, to be the same uh, when you can see someone uh, uh, that's the same it wouldn't do me no good uh, to go into the restaurant of Mechanicsburg uh, shout the victory uh, and three days later uh, someone in our hear me tell a dirty joke uh, or a cursing and using God's name in vain uh, and 
And then three or four days later, uh, being there telling people they ought to be saved, uh, uh, that wouldn't do me no good at all. Uh, uh, but if you're steadfast uh, from the very beginning to the end, uh, you can hear him say, well done. Uh, the Apostle Paul uh, was a man that was steadfast. Uh, matter of fact, when it came to the end, uh, the Apostle Paul said, I'm now ready. Uh, he said, I fought a good fight. Uh, I've finished my course. Uh, I've kept the faith. Uh, he was ready to go. Uh, we can be like that. Uh, uh, whenever we hear uh, uh, the sound of the trumpet, uh, we won't have to run and hide, uh, uh, but we can start shouting uh, uh, the victory of God. Uh, uh, being steadfast, uh, uh, brother, will help you. Uh, it'll help you to endure. Let's be steadfast this morning. Fed fast, not bed fast. <laughs> steadfast in the Lord. God's certainly good to us today. He is. Well, there's many others, but the point is, let's be steadfast. Let's be like Peter and Paul and Job and the others that knew God and knew exactly uh, knew exactly who they were serving.